Good morning, friends. Welcome to the session two of Resiliency for J Fault Tolerant Library. In this session, we will focus on how how do you protect your REST API, or how do you limit the number of concurrent requests that your REST API can handle. So there will be a scenarios if you want to limit the number of concurrent calls that your REST API can handle, you can easily achieve that with the resiliency 4j bulk ahead module okay so the common confusion where people get is what's the difference between rate limiting and the bulk head so the rate limiting never say anything about uh, the concurrency so in the bulk head api what you mean is you will limit the number of concurrent requests your api can handle at a particular time interval t so at a particular time you say that my api can handle 10 concurrent requests 10 concurrent requests you mean it can handle only 10 clients but the rate limit what you say is okay within one second or within five seconds how many requests my api can handle so there is a, some subtle di difference here uh, you need to pay attention to understand the difference between rate limiting and uh, the bulk head module uh, if you if you you can watch my previous video where we covered rate limiting in depth in this module we'll cover with we'll cover only bulkhead module which will which will mainly focus on concurrency so like you have a simple rest api how many parallel clients it can serve at a time interval t okay that's what it's very simple uh, you can get that functionality very easily with the resiliency 4j library okay so now let's jump on to this okay if what is fault tolerant uh, in the world of microservices so if you have in a system of microservices so you have several microservices in your uh, application if a particular microservice is down or if it particular microservices cannot handle several concurrent calls right it shouldn't affect the entire landscape of the microservice so watch my previous video which which clearly explains about fault tolerance like like a one microservice fault in a one microservice can shouldn't impact the entire landscape of the microservices your microservices should be fault tolerant so if faults are common to happen in microservices world and your services needs to be uh, fault tolerant so the main focus here is the number of co parallel calls we are going to limit that's that's the main thing in the bulk head module okay why do we need such limits the reason is like you have a microservice where which is like facading some database or something some calls okay you you want to know that this microservice can handle only five calls within or five concurrent calls so the, such such thing which you have such rules which you derived after uh, performance tests and your analysis you feel that okay your service can handle only five concurrent calls you want to set that limit on your api you need to manually code it okay you need to run write some logic around the api which is which is not really a right pattern okay you can use some good libraries like resilience 4j which will automatically do for you okay now what we discuss what is the difference between rate limit and bulkhead rate limit we generally say that within a period of time how many calls we can handle but the bulkhead pattern say that within a particular period how many concurrent calls it can handle okay that's the only difference so um, we will jump into the configurations when i was explaining the code okay let let's go into the uh, simple understanding of uh, let's go into the whiteboard and try to understand this what i'm the whole architecture application I have so uh, i fairly forgot uh, the scenario here okay then I'm, one second give me a minute yeah i have only five calls cool so I have a REST API. This REST API is a very trivial REST API, nothing. So this REST API is a greeting REST API. This is like hello world REST API, which you when every Spring Boot application has. So at a particular time interval t, okay, 
it can handle only five calls like this is browser one browser two blah 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 two browser five it will serve the requests but if browser six comes it will reject back it cannot serve this that's what we want like five concurrent calls it can be from one browser five calls if you can think in either way that that's perfectly fine you can you can train think in either way okay one browser is making six to five calls at a time six calls at a time it doesn't matter so when it comes to the api it sees the number of concurrent calls it can handle that's what that's what a scenario so what i said is it supports only five calls when a sixth call comes reject it or throw exception so very common thing what we will do is we will use http status code 429 when you are rejecting a call you reject with http status code 429 which says too many requests and you will say that try after retry after how many times okay i'll say after one second or something like that. yeah i say currently the api is experiencing a uh, bottleneck you guys try after one second or two seconds that's a very good way to design your api response codes okay so i just send 429 if an exception comes if the rule is violated i just send a 429 what is the rule five concurrent request if the rule is violated i just send an exception and the status code will be 429 and i'll say how when the client should retry. the client should retry after one second 10 seconds you need to see so that the clients can retry this entire uh, functionality can be easily easily achieved with uh, resilience 4j library bulkhead module you can code it on your own but i feel that's not the right way to do you should use the libraries which are already available this is like this is like a just you have a greeting api right you have a greeting api then you are just adding additional feature on top of it bulkhead so like you are you are decorating it's like a decorating pattern we call it right we are decorating the bulkhead or concurrency pattern on top of your api that's 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 very simple to do with this so um, as usual this entire demo or the entire uh, bulkhead how do you configure your library is is in my github repository this vnc 4j hello world which has other modules also all hello world bulkhead if you see there is it's nicely documented it has the architecture diagram and here what i use is i use jmeter to do a parallel calls okay jmeter is a very powerful uh, performance test uh, utility so you can each can generate parallel http calls i'd be using jmeter to generate the load on my server like i have to I have to generate five or ten conquest requests, right? It's very easy to generate with JMeter, okay, instead of browser or something like that. Okay. So the JMeter script is also available in the source code. You can you can import it and start playing with it. Okay. So without wasting much time, let us I I just uh, clone the library here. Then I'll do Maven clean install. Then I'll do a clean build. Okay so the library is built then i'll run the, my rest api here i'm just running my java hyphen jar bulkhead target bulkhead dot jar so i'm running my bulkhead rest api i just named it as a bulkhead it, it's a simple greeting rest api nothing nothing great about it okay so now my rest api is running let me generate 10 calls if i generate 10 pran concurrent calls right only five should be allowed and other five should be rejected let us see whether i can reproduce that scenario or not okay let me clean the previous runs if i have so bulkhead if you pay close attention to here the number of threads there will be 10 clients and they at a time they jump on the server like zero ramp up period is zero and they make only one call 10 clients just makes one one call each other so ideally five should fail and five should be successful now let me run and see what's happened i ran it let me see view view results in tree you can see that five calls are failed and five calls are successful my library is working perfectly well so the successful messages you will see hello world but the fail it says 
too many requests please try after some time so if the fail call happens you need to return what i said 429 status code right if you see response header it is saying 503 i don't know why I, I just I probably that's an example i didn't configure it 429 let me check okay so it should return ideally 429 and retry after a uh, certain period probably i i chose a flag for 503 so let me if i jump into the code i'll understand uh, so this is how the error code when an error comes don't send 200 you just send the server side error codes which can be a 429 or 503 depends upon your situation i think the reason here to see a 503 is like it's like server cannot handle okay so that's the reason i might have chosen 503 429 is also very valid code um, anything is fine it's a server error and uh, it says retry is an important plan which you say that when should you retry based upon your uh, uh, api observation pattern you say after one second five second ten seconds you can say anything like that uh, that's about the api design i'm not going to focus there let us see how can i achieve concurrency or bulk ahead with resiliency for j library okay so let me jump into the code i have the pom.xml it's a simple thing spring boot application so it's nothing but spring boot application i add three dependencies okay one is like resiliency 4j for spring boot 2 then actuator then aop these three dependencies you need to have that's all then if you go to the code it's very simple so i said it's a bulk head and this is what i decorated this is what i decorated my api my api is very simple if you forgot this nothing it is going to return hello world when a request comes it is going to return hello world but i but what i feel is it can only send or to an only handle five concurrent requests if sixth concurrent request comes it should reject so this is what a reject is okay so i think i have chosen service and available uh, that's the reason it is sending 503 so this is a fallback when the rule failed bulkhead rule right we said five concurrent is when a rule fail then a fallback method is getting called that is what you need to remember in fallback method you return the response code and response message so bulkhead applied no further calls accepted if you see when a api rejected it says bulkhead applied no further calls are accepted you need to focus one thing here when a rule fail the control will not go here the method is not invoked okay when the real fail when the bulkhead rule is failed the method is not invoked the fallback method is invoked so that your system resources are protected like when you are making a database call here or when you are making something those resources are protected so this is a, a very a beautiful pattern which you can easily achieve with the bulkhead and let us go and see the bulkhead configurations bulkhead configurations are also very simple so i said the default configurations maximum concurrent calls are five and wait duration is six i said when a request comes don't wait whether you give an error or you give a response so that's what max wait duration the duration uh, for which the call the request thread needs to wait i said the request thread shouldn't wait anything zero and the maximum con calls are like maximum concurrent calls are five so this is what you can do and the configurations are also very trivial so this is this entire functionality can be achieved very easily with this one simple annotation called bulk ahead and uh, this is simple rest spring boot application which i got it from spring itself um, and uh, anything did i miss so that's about bulk head i'm not going to explain how bulk head is assuming is it using semaphore or is it using a monitor to do that okay which one to choose you can explore further but the conversation here i want to limit is like i want you to get quickly get on to it okay so not explain the intricacies or uh, the architecture here you can go ahead and do further reading on bulk head how how it can be achieved okay 
so the focus of this tutorial is to introduce you to the bulkhead and limiting the concurrent request so uh, that's the goal of uh, this session uh, thank you for watching have a nice day ahead